When it comes to entertaining, I'm all about easy and impressive, and today I'm sticking with that theme by making a beautiful appetizer board. This beautiful display requires almost no cooking. All we're doing is gathering and strategically arranging. A bright white tablecloth is the perfect backdrop for this appetizer arrangement. Because I want this display to have a sophisticated look, I'm using cut glass bowls, platters, and cups. Now this platter is an heirloom that I got from my great grandmother and it is far and away my favorite serving piece. Some alternative options that you can use would be some marble slabs or granite slabs. You could use a wooden cutting board or just a plain cookie sheet would work too. I'm going to be adding these bowls on top of my platter. Now in these bowls, I'm going to add my olives and my pepper jelly, items that have more liquid in them. That way they don't run all over the platter. You don't want your olives mixing with your apricots. Placing the bowls on the platter before the food also ensures that there's room for everything you've prepared and that your food is spaced out evenly. I'm using black olives, but green or Kalamata olives would work as well. Dried fruit is perfect for appetizer boards because you don't have to worry about keeping your fruit chilled or excess moisture. I added dried apricots and dried cranberries. Peanuts add crunch and texture. Walnuts, macadamia nuts, or pistachios are great options as well. My absolute favorite spread is this pepper and onion relish from Harry and David. Sweet and spicy spreads are so versatile. They pair nicely with crackers, cheese, or meat. You could also smear it all over the top of a delicious piece of bread. Chex Mix provides a little salty and sweet. Next, it's time for our meat. I sliced a roll of summer sausage into bite-sized medallions, perfect for topping with cheese and crackers. Now this chicken is literally the only thing that I cooked. I grilled it on the grill and I added some Montreal chicken seasoning to it. After that, I put it in the fridge to let it chill and then I thinly sliced it. I like having two choices of meats for my guests, that way they can have a variety of options to fit their palate. You could also use salami, mortadella, or turkey. Any deli meat would work perfectly. Now this rosemary basil bread is a family favorite. It smells so good. It's like the perfume to this tray. Now you can put some pepper jelly on it, or you could make a little sandwich with uh, one of these meats, and then we're gonna put some cheese out in a minute or because it is so flavorful, you could just eat it plain. Lightly toasting slices of a baguette or sourdough bread would be delicious as well. You can't have an appetizer platter without cheese, and there's an endless array to choose from. I'm adding chunks of extra sharp cheddar cheese and for a little spice, some pepper jack. If you're adventurous, add some blue cheese or aged cheese for a pungent flavor. You could also bake a will of brie and top it with a tart fruit jam. The choice is yours. To fill in vacant spaces and to provide a pop of color, I'm adding in several bundles of carrot sticks. The real highlight to this platter is this cheese ball and crackers. I put it on a small cake stand so it would be elevated and add a little more interest. It also makes it easier for your guests to access. I like using pita chips because they're sturdier and won't break when you add toppings. In keeping with the sophisticated look, I'm using decorative glass appetizer plates, monogram napkins, and silverware placed in a glass flatware caddy. Some elegant glass goblets provide a touch of class and add a sense of occasion. A chilled bottle of Martinelli sparkling cider is beautifully displayed in a cut glass ice bucket. You know how much I love a chalkboard sign. I stuck this whimsical sign in a small jar filled with cocktail peanuts. 
The finishing touch is to add several silver tongs and cocktail forks. I like adding multiple utensils so more than one guest can have access to the food at one time. If you have some party hosting in your future, try your hand at an appetizer board. What I love most about boards like these is you can let your culinary imagination run wild and put together a show-stopping platter that will not only wow visually, but will wow in deliciousness. No matter your cooking skill level, everyone will look like a master chef with this incredible appetizer platter. Subscribe to my channel so you can stay tuned for more show-stopping party ideas, delicious food, and beautiful home decor. Thanks for watching.